<laughs> Neha, welcome to the flashcard ship that doesn't stabilize. How did I do this yesterday? Maybe I'll just sit over here. Okay. Hey, hi, Neha. Wish is Stephanie. <laughs> I just I just came from the sauna and so I'm so blissed out right now. But I must finish today because I got such a head start at work today. That seems nonsensical to say, but it's true today. I have two tabbies, so I've got at least three things to talk about, and another attempt at trying to get something from an authentic newspaper. I have two different newspapers. They were super cute at the hotel. I said in English, do you have a Chinese newspaper? And they said, do you want blah, 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 and they started listing them off, and I said, I've just started reading. Clearly, that's why I'm asking you in English. I've just started reading, so anything will do. And then he brought out this giant stack and still wanted me to pick. So I've got two different newspapers, and I'll explain what I'm going to do with those soon. So um, first of all, it appears that I'm doing um, HSK daily vocab dump vlogs. I guess that's what this has turned into. I'm not done with the other parts of the channel, the burning questions and the... Um, the walkabouts and those kinds of things, but right now I just really feel that I need a massive vocabulary dump and that's what I'm doing. And it's so boring <laughs> that I feel like I need to bring you along for the ride. Also documenting it helps solidify it in my head. It does part of that processing that I've been talking about. So let's get into it, shall we? Cut the glasses on, totally serious. Oh, and if you see me doing this, this is water. Not that I need to say that. It'd be no big deal if... I still don't know what these characters are. <laughs> It'd be no big deal if it wasn't water, but I just wanted to let you know. I am so not that kind of studier. I wouldn't get anything done if I was actually drinking wine. Um, right, so the 10 I did today, I did... I should have these... Oh, here they are. Okay, so I've got three stacks of stuff to talk about and the newspaper. So, um, here's the 10 I did today. I had, um, there are certain times at work I can have my phone and certain times I can't. And I couldn't, but I had spare time for reasons I will not divulge. Um, so I took the ones that were either easy to trace, like our old buddy Ren here, um, or um, that I already knew because I needed to get them here anyway. Um, I only had 76, right, 76 um, words as of yesterday out of 150, so there was still plenty on there that I knew, but I didn't want to do all the ones I knew in one day because I wanted to space out the ones I knew and the ones I didn't know. I kind of wanted to have a little break each day and have some that I didn't know and some that I did know each day that I'm studying, and it's worked out really well so far. And attacking just 10 of these today, the, at least the ones that were familiar enough, no big deal. Here's the 10. Here we go. And they're not fully done flashcards. I still need to do my picture and the components, and I need to add them to Pleco. Um, so it's not fully done, but it feels like it's done. Um, Ren, we know, is person, and I know I'm still not doing that R right. I don't know if I ever will. Sorry, I just flicked part of my snack across the hotel room for no reason. Um, we have Ma which is the question particle. And again, I don't need these to be perfect because I'll be studying off of this as well as the list, which is printed. So that's actually the correct uh, writing of the thing. So if I'm a little bit off here, I see it when I'm studying from the list too, and I see it when I'm studying from Pleco on my phone. So I've got a few different areas where I'm seeing it written correctly. So if it's a little off here, that's okay. That's okay. And I'll probably with my new eraser from yesterday, go back and fix them as I see the where the horrible bits are. I'm so sorry. I was bragging about wow. <laughs> I was bragging about my tripod still working from my Spain vacation, and then it stopped today. Apparently, I swear. Next time I'm in a place that has an affordable octopus, I'm just gonna finally break down and buy one. Um, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. Zwo, which is to do, and I wish I had done this one earlier because I think this is in some of the other words that I have, I think, I think, I have to check, at least that Z-U-O is. Um, 
ta, the other ta, this is the female ta. I'm still doing really badly on this here. That's okay. Uh, base cup. My spacing's not great on this one. Oh, I did hit one today where I was pretty proud of my spacing. But I don't think we... Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's the last one, actually. Uh, wo, 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 show Stephanie. Yeah, that's not the greatest drawing of uh, drawing. See, I do see them as art. That's not the greatest handwriting for that character. E, E, which is one. Sorry, wo, the one before that. Oh, this is I. It also said it was me. I don't know that yet. I know my is woulda. Right. Okay. So e one or a. Duo shall, duo duo shall. How much? And that's got that fun character from yesterday. And we did that. I think that was before I started doing the daily HSK blog blogs. I don't know. Zhang Wu, Zhang Wu, which is noon. This will forever look like beef to me. I know it's not, but it does. Admit your faults. That's what this channel is all about. Admit your language faults. And admit your other faults, which is singing. Last one. Mi fan. Rice. Now, I thought rice was just that. So, I didn't realize it needed all of that. Does it need all of that? I don't know. I'm kind of asking the ether. Don't worry. I'll see it in examples because I'm... Once I get HSK1 and HSK2 under my belt or somewhere along the line in there, I'm going to do a month of just food words because then I'll feel like I need a break and then food words will have all of the um, menus that I can't read currently explode and I'll need that kind of confidence to move into HSK3. And then I'll be able to read things around me some more. Eventually, I'll work on the functional language. I'm much more interested in current events than functional language. I am a sick person. Uh, Mifan is rice, and I told you my spacing was a little better. In this character box, I'm pretty happy with the lack of space between these two components. There needs to be a tiny space here. It's probably still too big, but I'm pretty happy about how that worked out. It's still not great. But, you know, there you go. So those are the 10 I did today. I need to uh, keep that posted on there so that I put those into Pleco. Because, again, I'm going to have paper flashcards and a Pleco deck for HSK1. And they will have pretty much the same information. Mm, okay, Pleco is going to have more just because um, it comes with the, the app. Oh, some of it I paid for, actually, too. Okay, what was the second stack that I had? Oh, the ones that I suck at. Oh, I thought of some from yesterday's vlog. I have to tell you, this is great. Um, hold on, let me pick. Oh, 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 here we go. So G, G, G. Here's the visual. I couldn't think of one yesterday, but I got it. Okay, so look at this little guy right here. You know how when, like, they show, in, at least in, in the English media and movies and things, when they show people going, gee, golly gee, and they have like, like their foot's kind of out and they're kind of like scraping it on the floor. I am not doing this justice. Um, I picture this as a cute, shy, bashful, possibly flirtatious boy or girl kind of doing that gesture. And this is their foot kind of scraping the floor like, gee, gee. G. And again, that's just for the sound. That's not for the meaning because the meaning's how many. And I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that. But as far as the sound goes, I think that could help me with the sound. Because there's a lot of characters that look like this, that look like, not so much that, but that look like this. There's a lot of characters and words that look like this, I think. So if we add that G kind of flirtatious foot. I think that kind of helps. I already told you about the broken tie yesterday. And there was one more. I thought of one for Shao today, and now I can't remember it. So clearly it's not sticking. There was one more. Oh, I have, okay, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Um, Cause that one I'm having a problem with. That one I'm having a problem with. So I'm picking out the next few that I want to 
practice with you. Um, there was another one that I thought of a visual for. Nope, that's not it. Oh, it was weak. Do you remember the one for weak? Mmm, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna pause and find it and then come back to you. Hold on. Ah! Okay, this is a stretch and again, this is a very, very temporary way to try to remember uh, Xing Qi. Xing Qi. Xing Qi. Xing Qi. Okay, so, um, you know, like on the back for the picture, I actually drew like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, I know that should be in Chinese, but I don't know those words yet. I know it's like one day, two day, three day, but I don't know how to write day. Yet. Wait, isn't Tian day? Okay, look, not the point, not the point. So what I'm thinking is because there's so many boxes, it could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I lost Sunday. Last time I counted, I had seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, how did I do that? So there's seven boxes. So maybe just as a quick reminder, just until, well, until I move them closer so that it makes sense, you know, what it looks like and things like that. Um, just until I start recognizing it or comparing it with others and what distinguishes it from other character, other words that look like it, I think I'm going to use that kind of the seven boxes for the week, seven boxes for the week, and for the meaning, not for the sound, for the meaning, I think I might just do that. Okay, Whew. so I now have 86 cards, and it's, there's a lot of cards. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the hour um, that I'm, not the hour for recording, Lordy, I wouldn't do that to you, um, but the rest of the hour I'm going to spend just going through and quickly doing my how many do I know today and doing that tracking sheet, and then I'm going to play very briefly with the newspapers, and I'll explain that in a bit. Okay, so um, the three that I'm having a hard time with today, uh, well, for a few days, which is why I'm bringing them up, do, 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 which is to read. Does that look like read to you? Ah. <sighs> Like, I know this first one, yawn, has to do with speaking, right? Okay, so maybe that's not a really helpful meaning component. Um, do, I don't think there's a sound component in there. Oh, okay, maybe this looks like morning do. But what is this sea ship cross 10 earth thing? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But just, I'm just going to do what I did yesterday and say that I'm having a problem with it. And probably the next time or the time after I see it, I'm going to um, figure out how to create some sort of visual that will help me remember this is to read. Clearly there's a person. I mean, I know it's big, but big is still a person with other stuff, right? So person, nothing looks like a book. There's no action to reading. If anything, he looks like he's running away sweating. I don't know. But anyway, that's the first one that I'm having a hard time with. This next one I know is because of my ham rating, so I have to go back and rewrite this one. Um, shui, shui shao. Shui shao. This is school. And we know the first part. This is a sound component here. This is shui. And shao... Like, this and this is supposed to be, is supposed to be, like, what Shao has turned into. So I guess that's another sound component. But, dear God, look at this thing. <clears throat> like, this is Shao. This is clearly Shui, and this is Shao. But there just seems like a lot of extra strokes that are not needed. <clears throat> and is there anything that makes it look like a school? Again, looks like there's a lot of sweating going on. But that could just be my handwriting. So I have to really, really go back in and stare at the typed version of this so I can see it completely and then make some notes on there. I don't know. Like the only thing I'm thinking is that really silly thing in English where we go, so here is the church, here is the steeple, open it up and here are the people. Like, yeah, no kidding. So I'm thinking that reminds me of the one of those two. <laughs> I don't know, but then where are the kids? Are these the kids running on the playground? Yeah, that's just way too much effort. 
for um, a million strokes that that is. Last one that uh, is driving me crazy is this one. Jaw, jaw, family or household. Family or household. So it's got mien, the roof or lid, the lid, sorry, the lid. And then it's got sh on the bottom. Sh. Um, and I, I want this to be an animal because doesn't this look like the animal radical? And isn't that what sh is anyway? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want it to be an animal. So I'm not quite sure why there's an animal in the family. <laughs> that could be a very personal problem, but um, I'm not talking about my family or your family. I'm just trying to figure out why there's an animal. So here's what I decided to do today when I have problems like this. See, I was initially going to devote, I was trying to figure out what to put in this top corner. And I think I was thinking stroke order, like how, not stroke order, stroke numbers. But I think I can fit that anywhere else. I think what I might do is write down questions. Like in this, I'm actually going to write it down in English just so I, I am, just to speed up the process because I am confusing it. If I'm not having a difficult time, I'd probably, it's in pencil, so I will go back and erase it. And I want to compare it to the animal ones that I think it looks like. And then I'll probably put something up here, like it's this, not this. To warn me, it's not this. But I want to see them next to each other. So I think that's what I want to do with that space. And it looks like I've left that space, yeah, pretty open on most of the flashcards. I do tend to write exaggeratedly to the left on these. So that seems to be something. So I think with characters that look similar to each other, I think that will really, really help me. And then for now, again, I can just write questions on them. And um, and actually, on the Shui Shao, I'm going to write check writing. I'm just going to write check writing. So it's kind of notes on things to do to help process them. I don't know what to write for, for do do something other than look at that card. Um, okay, so that's where they are now. Here is 86 flashcards. They're on two rings. I've taken these off because I'm about to play with them like mad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my, um, my nightly review. Lordy, help me. I worked on these a lot today. So actually, I'm going to add these to Pleco first. Then I'm going to do my nightly review. I will pause this while I do my review, and hopefully my phone doesn't shut off. And um, uh, and then I'll just report my results, and that'll be the end of this video. Okay, I promise you more exciting bits of videos are coming. I have all kinds of notes on uh, patterns that I'm seeing in the sounds of the character from the when ah how the sounds change when they go from components to words and I've got words that look similar to each other and I think with making the notes that I just showed you in that upper right hand corner I'll be able to do more comparisons of things and have shorter videos about that stuff so I'll have things in addition to this daily HSK flashcard vlogging madness okay back in a few minutes realistically well, it won't matter. It'll be like this for you. So I'll be back soon with my results with 86. I wonder if I can get higher than 70. What was it yesterday? 76%? Oh, got to find that paper first. Okay, see you in a bit. 13 minutes and 45 seconds later. Dun, 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 we went up to 76.7% .7 from yesterday. Not to my surprise. Um, some of the ones that I knew yesterday, I didn't know today. And some of the ones that I've been practicing a lot today, um, I probably won't know tomorrow. <laughs> so it, it ebbs and flows, but it's so satisfying to see the no pile versus the don't know pile. Um, I know, I know time, space, repetition is super hot in language learning uh, and maybe some other fields, but it's very, very hot in language learning. And that's part of what Pleco and Unki and all of those do if you set them up to do that, of course. Um, but I really think I need to see stuff on a daily basis. So what I'm probably going to do now, since I'm close to 100 cards, especially after the next couple of days, is I think I'll probably s split the review session instead of it being everything, everything reviewed. I think I'll probably review the ones I feel super comfortable with one time of the day and then review the harder ones at another time of the day. 
and then the, and then statistically follow those two. Um, I I feel like I need to have numbers with this right now because I feel like I've been stagnating for so long, and I feel like words and spacing and just getting where I need to go has been so hard. I feel like I need numbers to be on my side right now. A couple of things I noticed when I went through these. One, it's super freeing to write down questions on um, on on note cards. I don't know why I never thought of this before. But like this one, I want to check one of the components that's on there. And some of them I said I, I need I need an example sentence for this one. There's just too many with similar meaning. Um, and so whenever I had questions or when it's something that's similar to another thing, I wrote it down in there. And so it's, I'm going to need a separate amount of time to go over my questions <laughs> or maybe I'll, since I'm splitting up the review time or the statistical time, maybe I'll do it in that. I'll incorporate in there, but it's really nice to write all over these. Like that's something that's a bit harder to do when you're making a digital flashcard is that it isn't as touchy feely. I don't know. It, there's something very, very freeing about putting your questions on there and then erasing them and putting whatever hint that you need to be able to, um, to work on it later. Okay, we're at 21 minutes already. I found an example of better spacing. This is Zwo to do, Zwo. I'm probably saying that wrong, but look at how much better that spacing is compared to that spacing. See how those are closer together? Okay, granted, I think this is this should be a little bit further, further apart than that, but still, my spacing is getting better. I wanted to show you that. Again, not a goal, but not a bad thing. And then well, the other thing I noticed is these two sound really familiar to me. Shall and shall. They're both third tone, but let me show you the pinion. There we go. One has an X, one has an SH. Is there a difference between these two? I don't know. I mean, they kind of look different, right? They have different meaning, sort of. Actually, now that I'm looking at the back of, of Xiao, it says that Xiao is the component. So this is the component of this. And this is part of what I want to make a whole video about. I'm working up to it with enough samples of this. I may just, now that I'm close to finishing the list, I may just wait until the list is over. But this is one example of when the component, Xiao, changes sound just a little bit when it's morphed into something bigger. So what else is here? I mean, there's one, two, three strokes in this one, right? And then there's one, two, three, four. Okay, there's four strokes in this one. What the heck is the difference between these two? Uh, so this is like small and this is few or little. That feels like its own video. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna look for that in the example sentences that I will get on these cards eventually. It's happening. It's totally happening. I found um, some great websites today that had example sentences and the computer crashed and the printer spit out a page saying it was the warring format and I couldn't print out that page. Yay, technology. Um, it's not the technology's fault. It's people not maintaining technology's fault. Meh. All right, so that feels super successful. I, I did another calculation today with the list because again, the list itself has beautiful Hansa characters, unlike my handwritten ones. And so I did another calculation, like I went through covering everything up except the Hansa characters, and I actually want to pause for a second, calculate how many of these I know, and share that success with you too, because I'm feeling the need for success. Hold on. Okay, I, I don't know what's happening, because I feel like the flashcard making is boring. I feel like these vlogs may be boring. I feel like a lot of this process is really dull and I'm not sure if I'm actually making progress. And yet every time I do the statistical stuff, it's crazy. When I Before I started even making the flashcards, I went through this entire list of 150 words, some phrases, for HSK1. And that was on December 21st. I knew 34 out of 150, which is about 22.6%. I just went through the list today, um, just again, just, with just the Hansa characters, and I, today, January 3rd, and I knew 65 of the 150, which is already increasing, it's almost doubling. 
Now again, that's a different number because I don't have all of the 150 here yet. I only have 86. So it's a different number of success because some of them I haven't even made into flashcards yet. So of course I'm not going to know them because I haven't studied them. But even so, doubling? I know 43% doesn't look very appealing, but considering there's um, a significant amount of, uh, of cards that I haven't even made yet. So if we take that 65 divided by, where is my other list? Oh, check it out. That's pretty consistent from today, right? I, the review I just did was 66. The one I did with this paper is 65. So my handwriting's not messing me up that much, actually. Good to know. Good to know. Because again, I'm, I'm playing with the tests on here too. I'm just not documenting those anywhere yet. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing them and hearing them on Pleco because I need the sounds. And I'm looking at this for the better written Hansa characters and I'm using the flashcards. So I'm trying to get as many different versions of things so I can get the sound and the look and, the, and my little cheat sheet information of the syllables and the, the questions and things all together. So I'm using a lot of different methods. I'm sick of looking for one way to put the vocabulary into one thing because it's clearly not working for me to do that and this is clearly working a lot better which is crazy because again I don't really feel like I'm progressing but the numbers are showing that I'm progressing at least for now. <laughs> um, it's going to ebb and flow and I don't want to set myself up for disaster but I feel a million times better. I seriously, can I be honest with you guys, when uh, we came back from vacation, I feel like I in mid-November, I feel like I completely and utterly fell off of studying and I could not motivate myself at all. So a gigantic, just from playing with these numbers and just from, I know I've been reviewing a lot, so it's probably skewing the numbers and making them higher than they are, but I'm seeing them around me and I'm about to go play with real life newspapers. So if I can identify them in there, then that gives me another place to constantly see them and then that'll be reinforcing them with real life content. So I'm I'm reignited and it's taken me weeks of going through the motions to get reignited, but it's, oh gosh, that was a dark time. <laughs> it was a dark time. Like, what do you mean I studied the language for eight months and then I completely fell off and then I could, I just didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do. Whew. I am so glad that's over. I'm back. <laughs> oh my God. I'm telling you ever since I started, I was seriously going through the motions from December 21st when I took this paper and said, that's it. I'm just going to do a vocabulary dump until today. I literally have been going through the motions and forcing myself and not feeling it just yet. Not feeling enthusiastic about doing this. Not feeling like I can do this. Not feeling like I'm going to be able to keep going. And today I feel like I can do this again. It's still an incredibly uphill battle. This is HSK1. <laughs> still the beginning. It's forever the beginning. Oh my god. The um. The learning curve in Chinese is so steep for the non-university student for, the, it probably is too, but you can get through it faster since you're studying it more hours a day. But for the part-time uh, adult learner of the Chinese language, this is just steep, steep. Steep learning curve, but I'm excited. And if I have to just do vocabulary dumps for a few months, then that's what I have to do. But I have a feeling that's all going to change. Anyway, I'm just super excited. So I'm kind of rambling and now we're at half an hour and geez, Louise's videos just keep getting longer and longer. Hey, what obstacles did you have? Somebody please talk to me. So I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> share an obstacle that you had, share when you fell off of studying for a bit and what you did action wise to get yourself to get back on it, to get back on it. What did you do? Share something, please share something below. Let us know what you did. It doesn't have to be Chinese, y'all. If you're watching this and you're studying a language other than Chinese, that's totally fine. Um, but do share your experiences below so we can all weep together. Weep in sadness from the frustration and weep in happiness that we push through it. We push through, that's what we do on this channel. Because no matter what, 
Like you can stop, you can just stop and you will never get there. Or you can just keep going. Worst case scenario, I'm pushing away how soon I will get dementia. No, seriously, language learning and any sort of um, any sort of learning, actually, um, if you are prone to get any of those um, brain degenerative diseases, is that what they're called? Um, anyway, if anything like that, uh, the longer the longer you actively, seriously push your brain, the more you're pushing that off to a later age. Since I'm 46, I figure it's a good time. It's not the reason why I'm doing it. It just is a very, very positive side effect. Anyway, that's a bizarre, bizarre thing to share at the end of a 30 minute video. All right, y'all, thank you for watching much more soon because apparently I'm on a roll now. Yeah, Sachin, good night. Goodbye, it means goodbye, but I say goodnight afterwards because I like being bilingual. I'm getting there someday, I'm getting there.